welcome back guys um so glad to be back um i'm sure all the whole abalu of uh, christmas festivities new year's festivities all over and done with guys are settling back in work and it's just a privilege to be here because um we we really have a good reason to thank god if you still healthy if you're still alive your loved ones and everything we have a good reason to thank god because while we celebrated there were people who are at their loved ones funeral services at their friends funeral services at their friends funeral services seen this post on facebook where uh, a family of five perished on the 25th a mother and father and three kids they perished on a road uh, on a road accident in nigeria seen another post someone crying over their dad their dad had just passed away uh, literally yesterday and if you're still here, we are alive, you are healthy, we just have so much uh, reason to thank God no matter what's going on in our lives. I've had people say, New Year, New Me. And uh, whether this is something we actually intend to follow through and accomplish and see results, or whether it's just something that sounds good uh, to say at the beginning of the year uh, remains to be seen. We start off the year with a little clarity. Uh, let's start off by identifying where you and I are in terms of our health and fitness, our relationships, our finances, our careers and all. And let's examine and see where do you want to be in a, in a month's time, in a year's time, in five years time, in 10 years time. Let's us, uh, set ourselves a, a tiny achievable goals, uh, short term and long term something we can work with and see the results so if we want to see different results this year we are, we are definitely not going to do things the way we did them last year because if we do the same things that we did last year we are going to see the same results so what is it that we did last year that we want to stop doing this year what is it that we didn't do last year that we want to start doing this year write it down in a notebook and Little by little as you achieve, just note it down to keep motivating yourself. All in all, our prayer lives and our spiritual lives are the most important things in our lives. And the Bible says when we pray or when we ask uh, God for, for stuff, God examines our heart. He looks at the motive behind whatever it is that you're asking. And that's why in the book of uh, Psalms 139, verse 23 to 24, David says, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any wicked way in me. And lead me in the way everlasting. God examines the heart. He looks at the motive behind whatever it is you're asking for. So, our main agenda this year should be setting our hearts right with god because david is called a man after god's own heart because each and every time he sinned or he done something wrong he didn't seek to justify himself he didn't seek to look for excuses to explain why he had done what he had done he quickly turned to the wall and repented he was quick to break before god and this is what God looks for. So as much as we pursue um, physical stuff, material stuff, um, to pay our bills, to, to, bring, to pay school fees, to bring up our children, just to meet our daily needs, our spiritual life should be our topmost agenda. Our prayer life. Because it's the lifeline of our relationship with God. Glory to God.